One inch taller, he weighed in 171 pounds, 170 and a half for Kenny Robertson. Slight reach advantage for Rowan Jukau Carnero. Here once more is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a freestyle fighter holding a professional record. 15 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 170 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Washington, Illinois, Kenny Robertson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 20 wins, 10 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of Atlanta, Georgia, Roland Jukal Carnero. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Kerry Hatley. There's Chrissy Blair. Thank you, Chrissy. We are ready to go here with this welterweight matchup. Kenny Robertson closing as the slight the favorite ready? Ready? at minus 130. Shukau Carnero, even money. Shukau is in gold. Kenny Robertson in black. Shukau looked much, much bigger than Robertson at the weigh-in. Robertson doesn't care about that. He just wants to make Jukau work. He wants to push a high pace, drag this fight to where both guys are exhausted. He wants to test the cardio of Jukau, who cut a lot of weight to make 170 again. Robertson, no stranger to getting off to a good start. Three of his four UFC wins have come by first round stoppage. In a bad position here, Jukau's got double underhooks. He's very strong in the body locks. He's high here. He may look to reap one of the legs but he's gonna try and spin around and potentially take the back. He is very dangerous if he takes your back. He'll lace that right leg through. He's gonna put a tremendous amount of pressure on the left knee and kick off the fence. This is not where Kenny Robertson wants to be. And the tail of the tape doesn't show you a huge size difference, but there is one. Now, when you looked at the weigh-ins, I mean, they weighed in similarly, but Jukau cut a lot more weight to make 170 than Robertson did. Excellent sweep there from Jukau, who tried to keep the leg, but this is exactly what Robertson wanted. He wanted to make him work. Wanted the up downs, you know, where they're striking, they're grappling, they're back up. Looks like Robertson landed a right hand inside. And he's going to keep that forward pressure. I mean, Robertson's that guy. You can hit him, and he'll keep coming. He'll keep coming, he'll keep coming. Bad shot attempt there from Jukau, but I think he just wanted to get back into the clinch. Robertson was keeping those hands low, perhaps to avoid an entry from Jukau. And this works in favor of Robertson's game plan. I mean, having Jukau dig for these underhooks, what he doesn't want to do, though, is end up with Jukau on his back, potentially on his back like he was. Jukau just missed on that left hook. Robertson's hands continue to be low. Very low, I mean, below his chest. Robertson went down to Albuquerque, New Mexico, trained at altitude, really got out of his comfort zone. He's the best guy in his gym in Illinois. Went down there to really learn some new things, but lands a nice overhand right. He said when he was down there, rolling with the likes of John Jones, you know, he had some mistakes, some holes in his game exposed that he never saw before. He grew, but then he also realized and, and gained some confidence how good he was and how well he was able to do with some of these other UFC stars. Jab there from Jukau. Robertson continues, hands very low. Good body kick for Carnero. Just over two minutes to go here in round one. Later tonight, Dustin Poirier, Michael Johnson in our lightweight main event. No fakes, no feints. With a telegraph there, the spinning back fist, but Robertson really just waiting for it. There's pressure, then there's smart pressure. There he lands a nice leg kick. I'd like to see more fakes and feints from Robertson. Robertson, three-time NCAA Division I wrestling national qualifier, representing Eastern Illinois University. Drew Cow with the left-hand counter. Robertson seems committed to the strikes, but a little sloppy with the hands up. He's not putting together combinations. This isn't exactly what his coaches wanted him to do, but you know, much of their game plan focused more on after round one. Make them work in round one, and then that's where they really feel like Kenny gets going. He's got to be careful. Hands that low. You can get clipped at any time in this game. Robertson 
Robertson landing less than his less than 25% of his total strikes here through four plus minutes. And his corner yelling at him, get your hands up, get your hands up. So hands are a little higher now. USA chance here in Hidalgo, Texas for Kenny Robertson. He lands his best combination of the round there after he eats an inside before he ate that inside leg kick. So he's got Jacal's back trapped up against the fence. That's where he needs to unload a little. Instead of flicking that jab, actually step into it, throw it. Pretty good right hand there for Robertson. And you see a little smirk on his face of how easy he's able to back him up. He's happy with that. Stop, 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 stop. Nine, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eight, nine, two, one. Yes. Okay. Yeah, vamos andar para frente. Let's come on. Vamos so start frente, moving forward. Tá? I want you moving forward. Isso, daí a gente vai matar a distância dele. Because we're going to take distance off. Você está jogando muito bem do meio para trás. Tá you're doing really well from the half back, but you're, gonna, you're moving well. Frente, your hands are high, but I need you certo? moving forward. You hear that? Tá. Vai vem, vai vem. Vamos andar para frente. <coughs> when you're in close. That elbow is going to be there, that jab down elbow. <clears throat> Those hands are high. Those hands are high. <laughs> FS1 UFC Fight Night is sponsored by Bud Light. Raise one to right now. All right, round two here. Shukal Carnero, Kenny Robertson. Any major takeaways from either corner after round one? Well, Jacal's strike coach Cattell told him, you got to start moving forward now, and immediately he's backing up. In the corner, Robertson told him, hey, hands up, and they want him to follow up these jabs, these little flick jabs with some elbows. They think like it'll be, they think that that would be there for him. And they want him to exit to his left to take away some of those inside leg kicks that he ate toward the end of round one. Good job getting the head out of arm's way there. The hands of Robertson are higher. Right now, Jukai having a hard time dealing with that pressure. Oh! That's a nice straight right hand behind his jab there. And, and this is the Robertson you know. Man. He's tough. Beautiful, well timed takedown there for Jukai. Robertson has been the more active striker. Jukai, more accurate. And now trying to work off of his second landed takedown. And Robertson did a really nice job round one, avoiding trouble, escaping the position. Now he's got to make sure he does not allow Jacal to pass. Oh, excellent sweep from Robertson. Beautiful work. Sweeping a high level. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt there. Now to get on top position. That was massive for Kenny Robertson. Ninth UFC appearance for Kenny Robertson. He debuted back in February of 2011 at UFC 126. Chu Cao made his UFC debut against Rich Clemente all the way back in 2007. Now amidst his second UFC stint. Fought his second ever professional mixed martial arts bout against Anderson Silva. Right, who was the Shudo champion at the time. And a huge Brazilian top team versus shoot to box rivalry. Robertson doing a nice job here on top. Maintaining top position and control, not allowing Jukau to sweep or get up. I'd like to see him open up a little bit more with some of these elbows, a little more offensive here. With both fighters kind of fighting at that pace where they're very conscientious of not making any mistakes. And with that, that's, you get sometimes a more controlled pace when guys are thinking that way. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Jukau working on a leg here, Robertson's out. An excellent escape there from Kenny, and Jukau choosing to go for the submission instead of using it to get back to his feet or potentially sweep. Nice work from Kenny Robertson. As usual, Kenny Robertson at his suffocating best, less than two minutes to go in the round. He's making Jukau work off his back here. Yeah, just a mentally tough guy. Finally made the decision, though, to no longer be a teacher. He's a teacher for his entire career now, full-time mixed martial arts fighter. All he does is train 
left his home gym where he was clearly the best guy in the gym, winning every round, now traveling around, getting new information, learning new techniques, and seems to be winning here so far tonight. Now trying to force a stand up here. Guard is closed. He's got him tied up and now uses it to sweep. Very nice. And now full mount with a full minute to go. Wow. And he loves to look for the head and arm choke from this position. Good job by the referee to get in there. Kenny, you see Kenny Roberts smart. He's hiding his head there, only giving him the back of his head. Really smart for Robertson. He may look to just milk the clock here. Well, and this is useful for Zhukao after Robertson had his way with Carnero through the first half of the round. Well, and, and Zhukao's got to land something here significant, though. You got to think he's behind on the scorecard in this round. Robertson's on top for a long time. He's got to do some damage here in the last 25 seconds to steal the round or potentially submit him. Zhukao has Robertson mounted and flattened out. Can he just run a clock here? Two tough rounds to score, really. Both close. Five minutes to go. Stop, stop. Easy up. Okay. There you go. Couple deep breaths. When you're coming forward, you're doing great work. The only time he hits you is when you stayed in front of him. He got a little lazy. You stayed in front of him. When you put the combinations on him, he's backing up and you're waiting. Okay? Keep the pressure on him. Need the round. Need the round. You push it far. You push it far. You can't just throw single punches. One, two. That's it. Okay? Let's go. Give your best. All right, ready to go. Third and final round. Kenny Robertson, Jukau Carnero. What would you like to see Jukau do here? Like, you know, right, here it, it's the same thing that's played him throughout his career. You know, he's been a guy who's known. He's an absolute monster in the gym. Strikes well, has power in his hands, wrestles well, submits everybody. But when he gets in the octagon, Mentally, there's something that holds him back. And, and there's plenty of students, plenty of fighters that have been like that, but that's really been the key. You know, in the gym, when he takes guys back, he finishes them all the time. When he mounts guys, nobody escapes. When right? he the guys find a way out. For Kenny Robinson, he's got to get his hands up. And again, hands low. Again, though, well-timed sweep that butterfly hook. He gave easy takedown, but man, he's right back to his feet. Yeah, and that could be big for Robertson. Third yeah. takedown landed to the fight for Zhukau, but did nothing with that one. Well, we've seen it before where guys underestimate Kenny Robertson. They underestimate him, and what you can't underestimate is his heart and his toughness. Yeah. He will keep coming, he will test you, he will challenge you. Oh, a nice right hand landed for Zhukau. Robertson presses forward, flat footed. Punches just to get into the clinch, just to push forward. So he's sitting down on him, rotating his hips and turning the fist. Zhukau starting to work off that jab here early round three. Just out of range with that combination. He would appear to be the fresher fighter here. Three and a half minutes to go. Oh, big uppercut left hook combo. That dazed Kenny Roberts. Big mistake there for Jakarta. Look for the takedown. It looked like he had him dazed. He should look to separate from this clinch, but smart for Robertson. Keep him here as long as he can. Get your wits back about you. But for Robertson, he's, he's done well on the ground. He should look for the takedown here. He did well for a good amount of time, second round on top, until he was swept. Let's see what Jakarta can do at distance here once again. Under three minutes to go to decide this one. Again, the jab finding a home for Jakarta Carnero. And look how square Kenny Roberts is. He's very square, which is leaving wide open for any punch Jukau wants to throw down the middle. Hands low and fighting the guy square. Not 
not necessarily as inspired an effort from Kenny Robertson as we've seen his last several fights. No, it's still it, in this one, though. It, it, it's again, though, it's just we talked about last round where you got two guys that are coming off defeats and, and they're they're focused on not making a mistake instead of focusing on I want to take this guy out, and that happens sometimes. You know, the guys got a lot in their mind; they got a lot to lose. They focus more on that and what they instead of what they have to gain. Less than two minutes now to go. Robertson's starting to get his timing down now, countering the jab more effectively. But the punches are more snaps. Good kick by Robertson. He's got some pop. Seven career wins by knockout or TKO. But has landed just 35% of his total strike attempts tonight. Yeah, really just, just an odd fight, a, a tough fight to score. Round one was pretty close, round two looked like it was going Robertson's way. Jacob Swept finished with the mount, and he also landed some big strikes at the beginning of the round. Could be 1-1 one, one here in round three. Nary a takedown attempt thus far for Kenny Robertson. Perhaps he'll go to it late. And both guys look like they could be timing and waiting for that last minute. And now you got to be really careful to not end this round on your back. Seemingly a close fight. Less than a minute to go now. Surprised we haven't seen Carnero go back to the uppercut. He landed a very good. Best combination he had when he rocked him. Right uppercut, left hook. Because of the way Kenny Robertson wades forward with his head forward, his hips behind him, he's open to it. There it is. And he landed. So we thought he handled the weight cut well, did you, Cal? And the gas tank has seemingly had up here. Well, and you know, Robertson pushed the pace in round one, but really failed to do that, especially here in round three. He wanted to drag this into the fight, but really exhausting. And, and maybe the pop on the punch to Kyle slowed him down a little bit. Good takedown defense there by Robertson to stay up right here in the final seconds. Kyle just really trying to fight a smart striking fight here in round three and be accurate, working behind his jab. Certainly the more accurate fight here in round three. Robertson and Jukal Carnano go the distance, the official decision, coming up next. All right, the official decision on Robertson and Carnero is in, Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Guadalupe Chapa scores it, 29-28, Robertson. Hacker McDonald scores it, 30-27, Carnero. And Marcos Rosales scores the contest, 29-28 for the winner by split decision, Roland Jukal-Carnero! One man's pleasure is another man's pain. Jukal-Carnero escapes with a win by split.